October 1st this year is Chen Nin Franklin Yang's 100th birthday. Yang is the most leading physicist in China and the world today. Most people know him because Chen Ning Yang and Li Xiangdao won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1957 for their joint proposal of cosmological non-conservation under weak interactions, the first time a Chinese person won the Nobel Prize. In 2000, Nature selected the 20 greatest physicists of the millennium, and he is one of them. While everyone else on the list lives in history, Newton, Einstein, Maxwell, etc., Yang is the only living physicist. Yang has created inestimable value for world physics. Without him, perhaps the physics of the whole world would have stagnated 50 years ago. However, such a great scientist has been criticized by his compatriots all his life. Why is this? Why don't Chinese people like Yang? Why do the Chinese owe Yang an apology? Hi! Welcome to Tech Teller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. Many people said that Yang chose to stay in the United States when he was young, but only when he was in his 90s did he think of returning to China and becoming a Chinese citizen. Going back to China at such an old age is nothing more than enjoying his twilight years. For example, a trending article titled, Tsinghua Students Angrily Criticizing Yang, was spreading on the Chinese internet. It writes, Yang's contribution to the United States is far greater than that of China. He is American, loyal to the United States, serving the United States. He returned to China in his later years, and enjoyed the entertainment that was never seen in the US. What he gave back to the Chinese was a needle of anesthesia. Well, in my view, this statement is actually meaningless. Yang's research on high-energy physics is not that practical. Qian Shuisen can build missiles when he returns to China, and Deng Jiaxian can build atomic bombs when he returns to China. If Yang returns to China early, what can he do? Maybe China has an unimportant engineer, and the world has lost a great physicist. What many people do not know is that there was no suitable environment or equipment for Yang's research project in China. If he chooses to return to China at that time, his research will be abandoned halfway. Although according to his rich knowledge of physics, he can be a good teacher in the university, but the world will lose a top physics master because of this. But even though he is abroad, Yang is always concerned about the development of physics in China. He has repeatedly called on public occasions to cultivate children's knowledge of mathematics, physics and chemistry from an early age. He said, only in this way can China become a scientific and technological power and attract more scientists to come to China for development. Future children cannot be like him and have to change their nationality in order to learn more. If there were sufficient conditions in China at the beginning, I think that Yang would not have chosen to change his nationality. In fact, even in the United States, Yang has made a lot of contributions to the country. Mo Wei, a professor of physics in China, has written a letter to Zhu Guangzhou, then vice president of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. He said, there are many overseas Chinese, and all these people do not understand China and have some prejudices. As far as I know, there are only two of them who are single-minded in wishing China well, and they are Chen Ningyang and Li Zhengdao. Mo Wei added, Yang and Li always cared about China's development overseas and spoke well for China everywhere. At some international conferences, when they met attacks on China, Yang and Li used to walk out in anger as a protest. In 1970, the Jiayu Islands incident aroused great indignation among the Chinese people. Yang did not hesitate to initiate participation in the Senkaku Protection Campaign. Yang participated in the hearing of the Return of the Okinawa Agreement in the U.S. Senate. He made a generous statement. From the perspective of geography, history and reality, he proved that the Jiayu Islands are Chinese territory. In 1977, when Sino-U.S. relations tended to normalize, Yang immediately published an open letter to President Carter in the New York Times, and he also published a full-page advertisement at his own expense. In his letter, he strongly called on the U.S. government to give up isolating China and establish diplomacy with China. 
In 1980, Yang initiated the establishment of the Academic Exchange Committee with China at the State University of New York at Stony Brook to sponsor Chinese scholars to study at the school for one year. In 1983, Yang initiated the establishment of the Sun Yat-sen University Advanced Academic Research Center Foundation in Hong Kong, raised more than 20 million Hong Kong dollars, funded hundreds of basic research projects, and trained a large number of young scholars. In 1997, Yang helped Tsinghua University set up the Advanced Research Center. Yang donated his salary to introduce talents and train students. At the end of 2003, Yang returned to Beijing to settle down and brought back another world-leading scientist, Yao Qiji. Zhu Guangzhou, dean of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said, Yang has trained at least 10 academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and five university presidents for China. The president of Tsinghua University said, Yang has raised Tsinghua's three fields of physics research to world class. Without Yang, there would be no Tsinghua Department of Physics today. Yang devoted himself to the reputation of the motherland and the cultivation of talents. He also solved an important problem, which is to find funds. He tried every means to raise money. After Yang gave up the high salary in the United States and returned to China, he sold his house in the United States and donated all the money to Tsinghua University, he assisted in the construction of dozens of laboratories for free. After returning to China for more than 20 years, he donated 6 million US dollars. Besides, he used his personal reputation to raise a lot of money. He built the expert building in Tsinghua University and raised more than 10 million US dollars. G.E. Molin, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said that at that time, the theoretical physics research center of Nankai University often held meetings, and the funds were raised by Yang. Fearing that the dollar would not be exchangeable, he thoughtfully exchanged bundles of money for $20. Yang's sister said that, despite his high fever, Yang drove to Chinatown in New York to give a speech. Since many rich and famous people participated, he had to hurry to raise money. Therefore, Yang's contribution is unquestionable. Someone once said, Mr. Yang is patriotic. He is consistent and will never change. He is straightforward and outspoken, which is why he has attracted criticism from some netizens. As for his marriage, although the age difference is 54 years old, the choice of love and marriage is free. Now, more than 10 years later, they are still living happily. Many people who know the truth said, Mr. Yang, I'm sorry, we owe you an apology. Finally, let's revisit Chen Ning Yang's speech at the Nobel Prize Banquet in 1957, as I stand here today and tell you about these, I am heavy with an awareness of the fact that I am in more than one sense a product of both the Chinese and Western cultures, in harmony and in conflict. I should like to say that I am as proud of my Chinese heritage and background as I am devoted to modern science, a part of human civilization of Western origin, to which I have dedicated and I shall continue to dedicate my work. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.